All right, so welcome everybody. Sorry for the delay in getting started. We had a couple of IT gremlins and Joey and I were both really enjoying the session over with Ruth where she was talking us through the future of Mortec and how we can contribute. That was fantastic. Uh, my name is Robin Tyndall. I'm coming to you from the southern tip of Africa, Cape Town. And my company is leadgenius.biz and I've been involved in Mortec, well, I think seven, eight years, almost from the very beginning. And I'm really privileged to be introducing uh, Joseph Keller. Uh, I think everybody knows Joey. I'm really, really privileged to introduce him. Um, I've got to say, Joey is probably the number one most helpful person on the, uh, the Mortic forums. If there's a, a question being asked, Joey's probably answering it. And I wager there's not many people who've got a kind of broader knowledge of Mortic and all the different aspects of Mortic and how it all fits together than Joey. But technically, and I think practically as well as it rolls into the space of, of marketing automation. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this session. Um, Joey Joey's the CTO, the Chief Technical Officer over at, uh, at Friendly Automate, uh, which, is a, which is a fantastic service, kind of bringing more tech to the uh, more commercial setting. Uh, Joey's, Joey also runs a YouTube channel and the Marketing Automation Show. If you haven't checked that out, you definitely want to do that and subscribe. It's a fantastic channel. He's got some great stuff in there. I, I hang on every word he says in that channel. And also at uh, Joey, I hope I get this URL right, uh, joeykeller.com. Is that right? Yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's my website. joeykeller.com. Yeah, he's got some amazing mm -hmm. blog posts, amazing templates, uh, downloads, uh, tutorials, all wrapped around the marketing automation space with a, with a particular focus on more tech. Um, but uh, Joey, let's uh, let's get this started. I know today you're talking to us about expanding businesses based using automation and using more tech. So uh, I think uh, I think it's time to things we're late. Let's dive straight in, and over to you. Thank you so much for the kind introduction. Really, thank thank you so much, Robin. I'm gonna try to share my screen first of all. Uh, so let's hope I won't have any more funny challenges here. So <clears throat> like before. Oh man, I have all these open. Okay, just please ignore the you know one million tabs I have. So. Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about uh, marketing automation as a product, but um, I, I created a poll. I saw here that many other, um, many other uh, presenters also created a poll. So what I would like to know is where you guys are coming from. Are you hosting Maltic for your own business, which means that you installed it for yourself, you use it for your processes, and you just, you know, happy to use it. Or your business is actually uh, hosting multi for other businesses. So you're a hosting provider yourself. Or alternatively, you are using the, the, um, the Mautic hosted by someone else. So if you could just, you know, click here, it would be interesting to know. Not like I'm going to change your presentation based on your votes. But anyway, I would like to see if I'm talking to the right people here. After all, <clears throat> um, in the meanwhile, a couple of words about myself, really, that uh, before I started to work with Mautic instances, I was building uh, e-commerce uh, solutions and websites, and I worked a lot with email delivery. And now I'm running uh, the architecture by Friendly Automate, and I'm also tending to our uh, over 80 clients to make sure that they have success with, with Mautic. And I'm also the assistant product team lead in Mautic. So if you have questions regarding how Mautic works, I hopefully can uh, help you with that. OK. So let's go back uh, uh, to my presentation. So if you are a digital agency yourself, then I would like to say hello. This you might find interesting. Uh, but also, if you are someone who is hosting Mautic, then you might also find this interesting, and I hope. but. Uh, this presentation is about is, is mostly for digital agencies. So how you digital agencies can create a product around uh, marketing automation. What are the challenges? And if you are a hosting provider, how can you approach digital agencies to do the right stuff to convince them to come to you, host by you? Don't try to to their own. If you are hosting Mautic on your own, there might be some useful information as well. But uh, not like my other tutorials. This is not about hosting Mautic. It's about how to be a hosting provider or as a digital agency, what to look for, how to approach your clients 
uh, and saying, hey, I have these awesome marketing automation products for you. So I would like to start here. So should I sell marketing automation? Uh, the answer is no, because you're not selling marketing automation. You're selling something else, but I will come to that. Uh, before that, I would like to you know, go back in time a little bit to 2002. Maybe you guys remember if you've been around long enough like me. Uh, in 2002, the buzzword was websites, yeah? Okay, so I want to have a website. And that's what we based our businesses on. Uh, we were trying to create... Uh, back, sorry. We were trying to create um, uh, websites for our clients. And we managed to... Uh, have in those times still great margins with that because the competition was very, very small. And uh, uh, web development, e-commerce stores, and email marketing was a brand new thing. Now, in 10 years, fast forward, everything changed. Everybody realized, okay, I have a website now, but the thing is nobody is coming to it. So when I was told 10 years ago that you need a website because then suddenly um, uh, 8 billion people or whatever the, the, the number was at that time will be able to uh, visit you and suddenly have 8 billion clients, uh, that's actually not how, how, how things are working. So the social campaigns came up, uh, SEO uh, really uh, took uh, uh, ground and, and uh, people try to find ways to drive as many people as possible uh, to their websites. So e-commerce, web development, email marketing operations were not so profitable as before. SaaS products popped up. People could do it on their own many times. Different uh, services just you know, took out work from the web developers' hands. And uh, uh, um, the SEO and social campaigns really uh, um, made the first appearance. So we were trying to drive traffic with different ways to the customer's website. And now this year, on these years, let's put it this way, I'm not going to use buzzwords like blockchain and Web3 and VR and stuff, but I will tell you, we have many clients coming to us who are saying, I'm using this tool, I'm using that tool, I'm using 1 million tools, they're all great, but I need to make sense. Somehow I need to organize it. I have to be more efficient. efficient. And what we see is that... Um, more and more businesses are looking for some kind of solution where they can automate their stuff, where they can integrate their different businesses. And this is one of the, the requirements probably from your client that please help me uh, manage all my different accounts together, make my accounts talk to each other, make my business more efficient. And this is not just your clients who are talking about this, but when you look at the, the email marketing solutions or CRMs, let's take CRMs, for example, Pipedrive, they are also biting into this marketing automation game. They have different ways to automate uh, uh, the, the, the deal making, the, the reach out processes. You can even have customer journeys. Same with HubSpot, of course, it's in their DNA. But also MailChimp, they have a way to, you know, re, re, retarget your uh, the clients with emails, and um, Averber the same thing. So they are trying to do some add some marketing automation to their to their processes. Also Kajabi or or even WordPress. Well, Kajabi has great offering on uh, automating the the e-commerce, uh, the the course selling and the the in general the selling stuff. Uh, and you can find amazing plugins on 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 WordPress as well. So uh, what I see is that all those guys are trying to bite into the marketing automation cake, chew it. They like it, and they will eat more and more from it. So everybody is converging into this direction. And the reason is probably because marketing automation is a buzzword. Like we hear this by friendly automate all the time, but the client is coming, I'm having the demo call and we ask them, so what would you like to do? And they say, well, I wanna automate my marketing. So I'm here to, to, to automate my marketing. Clients know about this, about marketing automation, and they're asking for it because they think this will solve their problems. This will be like, you know, uh, um, somehow consol consolidating all their different tools and solve their problems. They also think that it works like this, yeah? So I have one button, the marketing automation button, I push it and it will automate my marketing. So that's what they think when they come to, 
to us, to hosting providers. So I would like to talk a little bit about digital agencies. Uh, I can see a, uh, uh, in, in, the, in the poll that it's not too many of you who are using a hosted Mautic solution. There are some, but I know there is. this is not the crowd. But I would like to talk a little bit about digital agencies. And if you are a marketing, uh, 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 marketing automation provider, Mautic provider, you will be able to address you know, their needs better. So this is the typical technical stack or the, the product stack uh, of a digital agency. They manage different branding, social media. They will create content. They are amazing in graphical elements. They would do SEO. Like they have all these things already. And now they would like to put marketing automation uh, in the stack. So they probably adding it to their offering, which is great. But in my opinion, how it should work is that they take everything what they have, the SEO content creation and, and so on, and they would push it together and use it as part of the marketing automation. So the digital agency's job here is to create all the ingredients for a great marketing automation uh, product. And what do I mean by product? Um, when you tell a client, and this is my experience based on over 300 onboardings with Modic, when you tell a client, I can do marketing automation for you, they will just scratch their head because they don't understand what's the outcome for them. So you have to be very specific. You as an agency, you someone who want to introduce or upsell marketing automation, you can say, okay, what I'm going to do is an abandoned card process for you, or I'm going to do better content delivery or better personalized content, or I will introduce lead scoring to your company to close more deals or I will do better internal processes. So that's what they understand. So when you create these products, first of all, you should look at your clients. What do they have? Okay, they have an issue. Then how you approach them is, we can do abandoned cart. We can do a reactivation campaign. And this is what we do by Friendly as well. We do real little agency work. Mostly we, we work with, with agencies uh, who are reselling our product, but this is what we tell them. You, you want to understand how to expand their business, how to use marketing automation for it, and offer that solution. And of course, we help you, or if you go to the forums, there are lots of uh, uh, good advices how to make sure that um, you can, you can uh, create these products, understand how to do automation, how to do uh, upselling with Mautic, and so on. Okay, so let's talk about tools because we are now on a multi conference. Okay, but the I think that the, 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 there are a bunch of tools you can do if you're an agency. Now you're a multi hosting, so you're probably frowning right now. What what are you doing here with the Marketo uh, logo? I will tell you. Um, but um, when an agency looks at the options and they say, "I need to do," uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I need to do some kind of automation with the tool, for example. I need follow-up emails and so on. What do I use? Maybe Mautic is not coming right away to, to their mind. Our clients are coming to us consciously through the open source channel. Very often, they are looking for an open source product for the following reasons. Maybe they're not saying that I'm looking for open source, but they are looking for a product because it's one of these things that is important for them. And open source is offering, it's enabling the following things, which I would like to um, uh, open up a little bit in detail. So one of them is the regulatory environment. Those guys who I showed in the previous, uh, previous uh, uh, page, they cannot fully comply with all the regulatory environments. Okay, so it's possible that you are in a country in EU where it's frowned upon to host something in the US or maybe you are in Switzerland like us, where we would like to host things in Switzerland, inside, within the borders, physically to, you know, nicely host it inside of a hill. Or um, you're looking for a product which is extendable. And those guys, they are not able to uh, offer the same extendability like Multi can, since it's open source. And you are free to, to make changes, even big changes uh, to the core product. Uh, very rarely happening that a, that a client comes to us and say, I have nothing. I don't have a website. I don't have any contacts. 
I would like to start with marketing automation. That's like happening never. Usually what's happening is they have a big mess already. So they have uh, a CRM, they have a website, they have a list from somewhere, and they would like to do marketing automation. And the flexibility of Mark helps you to connect with the ex existing tools, and that's super powerful. OK, um, size of community, I think it's a big selling point for using Mautic for marketing automation or using any open source product. I'm going to cover in the next slide all the open source product uh, which comes in my mind regarding marketing automation. So size of community is really valid for all of them. And I think that Mautic has a great advantage here. It's growing constantly. If you were participating on Ruth uh, previous uh, uh, session, then you see how nicely the returning contributors number is growing and growing. Privacy, super important for us in Switzerland especially. And uh, if you use an open source tool, you can always look under the hood. We had a saying uh, regarding privacy. We had a saying uh, in our company by Friendly Automate. We were saying that uh, this headline that uh, we really like spying in the movies, but not in our products. So privacy is super important for us. Uh, freedom of hosting, what do I mean by that? And these are all selling points you can use if you are a multi-hosting provider or if you're an agency who is reselling multi. Freedom of hosting for many companies, super important that you can host your instance, your Mautic, your marketing automation instance behind your own firewall. We see this by banks, we see this by beauty clinics, by all kinds of uh, 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 businesses. We see that they, they might want to keep it for themselves and they use it other than just uh, a marketing automation tool. Maybe it's part of, of uh, uh, employee onboarding or internal tools. And with market with Mautic, you can do it. You cannot do the same thing with Mailchimp. I mean, they will not take a monkey server and put it behind your firewall. And cost, of course. And I will cover that a little bit later. What is the true cost of self-hosting? Because open source doesn't mean that it's free. We are all contributing. We are all trying to chip in any way to make this product better, since, after all, this is our living code. OK, so these are the marketing automation softwares. Now I'm going to just uh, show you the open source ones. Yes, so this is pretty much true. Mautic is the only true open source, scalable, great uh, uh, marketing automation tool. And exactly this is why we are here. So if you are reselling those services, which I mentioned before, and you agree with the argumentation for the product, then Mautic would be the perfect choice. But it comes with challenges, as probably you know, especially those who host Mautic for their own business, but even if you're hosting it for someone else. And this should be, um, now the next eight points which I'm listing, this should be um, a cautionary tale for those who are trying to scale and host Mautic for themselves and their agencies. And it should be argument why your business model is great who are hosting the Mautic for others. So number one. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'm going to make an unfair comparison with WordPress. Why am I doing that? Um, because WordPress is very often quoted as the etalon of, 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 uh, of a great open source SaaS product. Um, and... Um, Mautic is called very often the, the WordPress of marketing automation. So I believe this is an unfair comparison, but let's do it anyway for the for just for the for the uh, practice. Number one, hosting. Okay, I still see in the in the forums that people are hosting it, uh, shared hosting. If you are a hosting provider, Mautic hosting, you know this is not the way to do it. If you're an agency, please don't do it. Go to a hosting provider. I'm not saying us. Go to any of them. Just don't do the hosting. Because then you're going to end up in the in the forums, and um, you you don't want to be there waiting for answers when your uh, updates are failing. Um, you need a super stable environment. You need to be able to support Composer, and you shouldn't use Bitnami. I don't have anything against them. Just somehow, I feel that Mautic is not really fitting lately with the with the Bitnami uh, concept. So uh, there was a there was a great uh, session about Composer before, and I asked the question there. So will the Bitnami um, 
installs be over and probably it's not true they will improve once the composer project is is ready but until then please don't use share hosting and don't install bitnami uh, uh multics so for hosting use a proper vps or go to one of the hosting providers you need experience with the setup so with the setup when i first uh installed modic i installed sandy before i installed mailers before um interspire you know um, different services. Uh, I found that Mautic is really hard to install because it's not going to exactly tell you what the next steps are, what to watch out for. We are working on it, but we are not quite there yet. If you're using a hosting provider, this will be given to you. And if you are one, you should make sure that your clients know about email deliverability. You should set up the email system properly. You should deal with backups and you will need to know your way around command line. If you're a digital agency, this is not typically what you do. I call it the art of upgrade because before every upgrade, when you look at the forum, we are chit-chatting about all kinds of stuff. After an upgrade is happening, one day later, you can see grown men crying there and you know grown women crying there because they see the 500 error and an ugly multi bot face. So, uh, when we upgrade, and this is an advice from me, uh, I usually don't upgrade the next day. We do have uh, test instances which we upgrade, but we also wait two or three days with that. Um, you always have to make sure that all your plugins are compatible or your clients' plugins are compatible. And if you are an agency, you should not be able to worry about it. You should not be forced to watch you know, how the Mautic uh, community is reacting on up the upgrade, but your hosting provider should tell you that, hey, this is not safe yet, but this is the schedule. So if you're a hosting provider, you, you should watch out for the upgrade. You should check out GitHub, see if there are any bugs coming up. There is one very interesting bug with the recent version. When you import uh, uh, an Excel file or a CSV file, then um, and you choose a tag, then the tag is not saved. So the tag is not applied to all your import. It's being fixed already. For us, it's a deal breaker, but you should always wait until these kind of bugs are coming out. And I also listed here a good understanding of Git commands. Why is that? It's because if something hits the fan, you should be, uh, you should be able to fix with PRs, in my opinion. So Git commands are really helping you with that. OK, so let's move forward. And I just went backward. Understanding the tool. OK, so this is more like an educational thing. There are a bunch of tutorials about Modic, and most of them are on YouTube. Uh, part of the reason is we, we're trying to do better um, videos in the Mautic community. We are simply too busy with developing the product. There is not enough people. If any of you is really big friends with a camera or a screen sharing, then please help us create videos. Uh, reach out to me or to the uh, to the education team, and uh, we can give you jobs like what, what kind of videos we need. But the information right now is scattered. Each provider is building their own um, knowledge base or link um, link. Uh, um, you know, links to the current um, tutorials. And we are not there yet to provide a one, like step one till, you know, step 100 uh, multi tutorial. Uh, if you come to my page to joycare.com, there is a free um, two and a half hour um, beginner's course. You can start with that, or you can offer it to your clients. It's for free anyway. Um, and that might help. But it takes time until we are there. So this is actually the, the, the Mautic provider's responsibility to give the right tools to the, to the agencies, again, in my opinion, and also have a set of use cases. How we do it with Friendly, for example, when we have a new client, since we have right now uh, over 80 clients, probably I've seen the case already, what they're trying to say, so we can provide them the use cases uh, already, and I encourage you to do the same thing. Uh, I will answer those uh, in the chat because there are all some comments, by the way. Um, know how to integrate. So with the integrations, 
you need some coding expertise for that. This is something where I feel that agencies can work together with the hosting providers, but you need to understand the plugin landscape. You should know what plugin does what. I can only recommend the MTC Extendy plugins, by the way, because they are super, uh, super uh, um, cheap, reliable. It's created by one of the core uh, core uh, programmers of Mautic, and they are the most useful plugins ever. Check the tweak templates. It's just amazing. It will do personalization like no other tool. I don't have any affiliate, and Zdenio is not going to buy me beer because I'm saying this, but they are the most amazing plugins ever. Uh, also, there is more and more need to add channels. For example, new text channels. I've seen many uh, SMS uh, channels, plugins popping up, and I think this is the way to go. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, WhatsApp and Telegram channel would pop up uh, in the near future. Now, scaling with custom scripts and tools. When you first install Mautic and you are an agency, then this is where you're going to have the most problems because you really need to know how the system works to have a stable, fast uh, working Mautic, which can process campaigns super fast processing segments super, super fast and sends emails super fast. This is where most people bleed out. I have a bunch of tutorials in the Mautic forums. So if you go to mautic.org slash support, I believe, then there are a bunch of uh, good forum topics. Look for SES, Sandrate, and other um, SES-related topics. Um, you can also find information about the one-minute cron job. Uh, look for this expression in Google, probably something will come up. But parallelly to this presentation, there's another cron job presentation, which I've seen the slides and also sounds pretty amazing. So if you're an agency, do you want to deal with this? And if you're a provider, multi-costing provider, you should really focus on this because this is going to make you stand out and give an advantage over others and also offer amazing experience for your partners and clients. Now, you also have to keep up with the changes uh, if you're a hosting provider. And um, like I see Rodrigo is also here. I know you are a veteran in this. So for you, probably it's no problem. You also keep your hands on the pools of Mautic itself. But for someone who is you know, just starting to offer the hosting, this can be one of the hardest things that you don't know what's breaking between versions. And that's why I'm saying, please be involved in the community. Come to us in Slack, check the forum. I swear you will be able to take out a lot more information than you are uh, leaving, uh, you know, than, than you are uh, uh, contributing back. So even if you're contributing, you will be able to see a lot more coming back to you. And if you are on Slack and you develop the network of people who also do similar things than you, you can benefit from that a lot. So before you, your clients' multics go down, you will be the first one to know what to do and what to not do, what not to do before between uh, between uh, uh, upgrades. Okay, so reg regarding the digital agency services. Uh, so when I look at this, what I told you, these eight things, none of them fits in the digital agency. And that's why I wanted this presentation. The agencies, in my opinion, should focus on product development based on marketing automation and hosting companies should focus on the on the hosting stuff. And I believe that with time, this will be separated. And if you are doing everything, I really adore you. But if you specialize, I think you can have a better success. So if you're an agency, you don't need these things. You don't need hosting experience, Linux. But if you are hosting yourself, you do need Linux experience. You need to know how to maintain a DB, the database. You have to be on the top of the email deliverability game. No Mautic inside out. Like what does what, what happens if you, for example, do a decision without, you know, uh, setting a time limit on a no branch and what happens with the yes branch, how to track and debug these issues. You have to know all the plugins what is out there and ability to create integrations. Of course, that's always great, but please be involved in the community.
But if you are an agency, why would you deal with these things? So I would really um, focus on creating content, creating templates and creatives, and also learn how to manage the campaigns, do the reporting. This is more the agency work. And by Friendly Automate, we actually have most of our clients as agencies. So I believe that uh, agencies have the capacity to create the right templates, to create the right content, which Mautic eagerly needs. Because remember, the, the success doesn't start with pushing that button. The success starts when you start creating the content itself. OK, so again, I'm separating the, the, here the, the different um, responsibilities. Um, I will not go through this because I was, we were a little bit late. I'm just repeating myself here, looks like. But you can clearly separate what agencies do, in my opinion, and what the multi-costing providers should do. Um, but the most important thing is if you're a hosting provider, your responsibility is to make sure that the uh, sad multi guy is never showing up. We are also offering unlimited support with Friendly Automate. And this is just a hint. It's not a commercial. It really worked out for us. I can encourage you because Mautic itself is scaring people and first time. Everything works differently than other tools. Like our clients are coming and they're asking, so how do I send a broadcast email? Well, you know, by us, it called differently. And you have to do this and this to do that. And please don't forget to close the publishing window. Otherwise, you will send out emails to people who are recently joining the segment. So it works a little bit differently. And the unlimited support as a sales claim, as a sales argument really ensures them they are in the right place. So I can only encourage you to do that. It only did us favor. Very few clients took advantage of it. OK, so let's go. Let's, let's, let's see um, what I see here in the future as a multi-costing provider. Uh, and if you're an agency, this might be interesting for you as well. And this is completely different what Ruth is saying, because I am not talking about Maltic's future. I'm talking about the, the whole um, uh, environment you can build for your clients. So we were talking about these guys. Like I said, the CRMs are a little bit biting in the, in the marketing automation. Email marketing software is biting in it. There are integrations who are trying to do a little bit more uh, automation than before. So I say we can turn this around. So I, can, I say we should integrate with other open source tools. We should make Mautic compatible with other tools. And most, like many uh, tools are already compatible with Mautic. By Friendly Automate, we're doing the same thing. We're also trying to build out our own set of tools uh, centering Mautic itself. So this is something what I think we all talk about in the forums, OK? So I'm just collecting it in this presentation and a little bit naming things. Uh, nothing is ready here. But I think if we put our resources together, we can uh, we can together create plugins which will support this idea of mine or or you know common idea we can have. These are the the, the software the, the 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 purposes the tools what what our customers are looking for and not just ours. I hear it from other multi providers as well. Or if you're an agency, then you probably. Uh, thought about this, that it would be cool to have a, a, a CRM or a chat or a scheduling, which is integrated with Mautic. And hopefully, oops. Ah, do you see my screen? Great. Which is hopefully um, uh, also um, integrated with Mautic, but also um, playing well together and maybe even open source. So I'm going to go back here. So number one would be Chatwood, uh, which I'm looking at. This is an open source project. We're also looking at it. Uh, I know that Toby has done some work with Chatwood. You can host it yourself in Docker, spin it up. And they have a great API. So probably you can easily um, uh, connect it with Modic as a channel. Udo. Uh, many other 
hosting providers, multi providers were looking into it. I know that Alex uh, Hammerschmidt was also um, looking at it, and I believe that this is a great tool. It needs more testing. I'm not sure that we will ever implement it, but this is something what is coming up very often in conversations. So if you want to go behind beyond automation, Udo might be the CRM you, you want to look for. ERP Next is a, is a complete ERP solution, also open source. And again, I'm not making advertisements here. I'm just trying to move minds. So maybe you guys are looking into it. Uh, and uh, I know that Toby is playing around with it and he has some success as well. So Calendly.com is, please go to uh, Multic support, Multic forums uh, support section. And by features, you can see a thread where more and more uh, fellow moticians are calling out for uh, for uh, care.com. And I will answer you, Luis, uh, about any 10 as well. It's it's in my radar. I, I, I would like to make a couple of sentences about that, though. Uh, Metabase is a tool where you can integrate with Multi greatly. And thank you for Michael Woman who, who did a great presentation for us. And I also seen a presentation in the German uh, meetup uh, Metabase is amazing if it comes to reporting. Uh, you can really, really, really look into it. And it's it's a great addition. You can create your own um, Google, uh, uh, what is that? Google, yeah, so reporting. And the last one is NA10. I, I, I on purpose left it lost, so I have a love and hate relationship with NA10. Uh, so much that I'm even going to put a question mark here. So it was okay for a while, and we were happily also using it for our clients. We're not using it anymore. And the reason is because they changed the license. So Anytan was never open source. That's one thing. Uh, the second thing is that the license doesn't allow you to host it for a client. So the client has to host it for themselves, and you can uh, you can uh, uh, do a consultation, but you cannot host it for another person. So if you don't mind using not open source product, I recommend Anitan, but then you can use also Integromat as well, which is European. Uh, if you're in Europe, that's something is in, might be interesting for you. Uh, Calendly, uh, we are integrating Calendly. Uh, you can just use webhooks for that. It's actually uh, not so complicated. Just write this in the forums, I will show you how. Okay, so how do we get there? How do we manage to get all these things together? So we can do this if we are uh, developing Maltic uh, better and make it more uh, more uh, stable. So we you need to participate in sprints. And I don't want to repeat Ruth uh, because we heard it in the previous presentation, but this is super important. Actually, what you can do, just hop in on Friday and just... Uh, um, uh, uh, you can uh, just do one hour of testing, super easy. You choose a, a PR, there's a button, you know, git pod, click on it, multi loads, test what's work, what doesn't, and then make your comment. Super easy and valuable. You can contribute with coding, of course, or you can just give money to the project and it's everything is transparent. So I would love to, you know, see more money thrown at the Brave.js builder. You can always test things. And you can also share the knowledge. OK, so if you want to get in touch with me, you can always ask in the forums. I'll be there and help you out. Because I think it's super important that every question is answered as soon as possible. Otherwise, you won't trust the product. So this, is, this has been my number one uh, mission in the past two years. I'm also hosting the Multic Help Desk Meetup. So if you have problems, show up every first Tuesday of the month. Usually it's like five, eight people. We make a round, everybody tells their you know, pain, and then we try to solve the issues one by one. Sometimes we just talk about other stuff, which is also fun, drink some beer. Um, you can find also courses on my website. You can follow my YouTube videos, where I'm always tackling some very particular issue, usually something very niche, uh, not mainstream stuff. <laughs> and I'm having fun with it. so. Uh, or just come to my website. And these are, this is my Twitter account here. You can write to me. And I think that's it from my presentation.
So I will a little bit roll back uh, to talk a little bit about the questions here. Nothing in the Q&A. Uh, Rob, you can hop in if you want, like pop in and uh, manage the, the channel. But until then, I will go back here a little bit. So uh, use open source whenever possible. Of course, yeah, nonprofits, open source is super important. And Mautic is going to shave off a large number of users uh, if they don't want to uh, support shared hosting, cPanel Plus, GoDaddy. You know, I know, but what if I tell you that I create uh, a tutorial how not to use <laughs> how not to use Plus and cPanel, please? I put it on my website for free. Just stop using it, honestly, because it's not leading. It's not. It's not the real stuff. Like you don't wanna. You don't want to use those things. You don't want to use shared hosting if you are hosting um, for money and uh, so you want to do something scalable. Uh, and I completely agree with uh, Rodrigo regarding why people leaving the big providers. Like I always imagine, and this is how we are building friendly as well. Uh, I, I don't want to be the McDonald's of Maltic ever. I want to be the friendly Italian place in the corner who makes the best pasta in the town or in the country, because that's going to leave a mark and that's going to be my selling point forever. We don't want to scale too big. We want to stay small and friendly. And I completely agree with Rodrigo that you don't lose uh, the touch with your customers. That's, that's the best thing you can do. Um, regarding Dockers, uh, when you look in the forums and you see questions about Dockers, you never see my name. I don't. I'm not an expert in Dockers. Dockers. We we are uh, hosting some stuff in Docker, but that's something I'm poking with a stick from far. So I would rather uh, put everything in Linux containers. That's my zone of terror. Okay, if you guys have any question or you girls or you folks have any question, please drop it in a and a I will try to answer it there. Uh, C uh, Gary is writing that he's using cPanel software class. Yeah, and they are doing the cloning. Yeah, it's a great way to do it because you have your the same system everywhere. We do the same thing just with our Linux containers. So we have multi-language uh, containers German, English, Hungarian, and so on. And we are uh, copying those containers for our clients. We have a setup script, so it restarts the container from zero. Um, it's part of the automatic setup and loads in all the extra plugins, what we offer for our clients and templates. Yeah, regarding NA10, it's, it's, yeah, it is what it is. And if you are hosting with no money, that, that is the hardest. The, the worst story I heard when uh, there's a client, uh, not client, but uh, somebody reached out in the forums, they're hosting and they got only Windows machines and nobody can help them because nobody's using Windows machines and they can't use anything else. I think that's, that's the saddest story. Uh, but if you need people to help you out, you have to somehow pay them. So it's really hard to do these things with zero budget. So open source, I think it's not free but it has the other benefits, which I mentioned. Joe, a, a question. Yeah. Coming back to the shared hosting environment, I can yeah. imagine a situation where you have a digital agency that is looking after relatively small clients, three, yeah. four, 500 contacts um, in their email list. Is there a point, a transition point, where someone, a small agency might be able to host a Mortic for a, for a small client in a shared hosting environment using all the things you've warned us against, cPanel, such like, but relatively small campaigns, relatively small number of contacts and email volume. Is there, is there a transition point where that, that can work? And, and then as a transition point where they should move over to a dedicated Mortic host such as Friendly? Yeah, it's a great, great question. We just talked about this like adding cPanel and stuff. So I'm not against it. It's just really dangerous that if you start up small, like you can find these uh, scripts which will install everything for you. I think they're great. You know, one script installs everything completely. Great. Uh, but you should be able to open the hood and fix things. And cPanel usually comes with restrictions and one of your plugins needs a certain PHP 
um, uh, mode or some other setting where the cPanel is not allowing, like not opening port 25, for example, or other ports, then you can run into very big problems. Regarding scalability, you can start with a $5 uh, VPS or with the cheap cPanel stuff. That's great. But once your, your clients, usually when they start up, they don't know how big it's going to grow. So it can happen that they're sending out a bunch of emails and suddenly the database is 80 gigabytes. And they will tell you, yeah, yeah, we were just testing and I was sending out an email, embedding the pictures in the email. Well, each email is 10 megabytes, sending out thousands of them, and it's all saved in the database, in the, in the email uh, statistics table. And suddenly you have a very big uh, database. So if you know what you're doing, of course, you can start up small. It does make sense. The agency does it. Just know the point when you, like, just monitor your instance and you will know when to change. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Jerry. That was absolutely fascinating. You, um, I think you've, uh, I think we've, we've moved through the comments. I don't see we've got any, any, any questions coming in. Thank you so much for engaging with the comments there. Guys, thanks for joining. And uh, yeah, definitely, if you want to connect with Joey, he's, he's always on Slack and uh, always in the forums. And uh, normally, if you've got an issue, he's the guy that's coming back to help you out. Joey, thank you for that and your contribution. Thank you, to, Rob. To sure. Large. And uh, yeah, absolutely. Thanks, guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the session. Yeah, thank you. Bye.